When D-Day veterans set foot on the Normandy beaches and other World War II sites on this anniversary of D-Day, they expressed a mix of joy and sadness. Joy at seeing the gratitude and happiness and friendliness of the French toward those who landed on June 6, 1944. Sadness as they think of their fallen comrades and of another battle now being waged in Europe, the war in Ukraine. 78 years ago today, the D-Day invasion began. The largest invasion ever assembled. In the midst of World War II, more than 156,000 Allied troops stormed the beaches of Normandy, France, confronting Nazi forces. D-Day, codenamed Operation Neptune, began the assault phase of the wider Allied invasion led by General Dwight D. Eisenhower. Early on June 6th, Allied airborne forces parachuted into drop zones across northern France. Ground troops landed across five assault beaches, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juneau, and Sword. By the end of the day, the Allies had established a foothold along the coast and could begin their advance into France. D-Day was an international effort requiring unprecedented cooperation between international armed forces. The day of the invasion, the Allied forces consisted mainly of American, British and Canadian troops, but also included Belgian, Czech, Dutch, French, Greek and New Zealand, Rhodesian and Polish naval air and ground support. It was the largest naval air and land operation in history. Germany tried to defend the northern coast of France with a series of fortifications known as the Atlantic Wall, but German defenses were often incomplete and insufficiently manned. The importance of D-Day overshadows the overall significance of the Normandy campaign. Establishing a bridgehead was critical, but it was just the first step. That said, the bloody and protracted Battle of Normandy was a decisive victory for the Allies and paved the way for the liberation of much of northwest Europe. The invasion that happened 78 years ago today while exacting a great human sacrifice did lead to an unconditional German surrender ending World War II nearly a year later. No? You know, so Bruce, there are a number of events planned today honoring the people who lost their lives. What's on tap? Well, you know, it's been almost two years since some of those soldiers who were there during the D-Day invasion could return as a result of COVID. And today marks a momentous and long-awaited return. In Colville sur mer U.S. Air Force craft will fly over the American cemetery during a commemoration ceremony. The cemetery is home to the graves of more than 9,300 people who died on D-Day and the operations that followed. Mm -mm -mm. A solemn occasion. Thank you, Bruce, so much.